Hi, this is John from the CoveredGlassPipes.com and the Covered in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're in Vegas with Hitman, the famous artist that you've heard so much about. Tell us your name and how did you get started? Uh, my name's Doug and uh, I own Hitman Glass. We started uh, Hitman Glass back in 2007-ish uh, on the East Coast. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts originally, uh, born and raised out there. Uh, and we started Hitman uh, when my friend Eric was alive. He actually was murdered in uh, 2011, one of my business partners, you know, my business partner. Um, is like my best friend and uh, you know so Hitman is it means a lot to me for a lot of other reasons um, and it's something that you know it, it carries on my friend Eric's legacy and uh, and it's something I take a lot of pride in and I take real serious and uh, I'm really proud of where you know how far it's come and uh, it's really come this far because all the help I've had from so many uh, unbelievable people I have in my social group and uh, I'm very blessed to have uh, you know the, the people around me that are willing to help me um, and yeah I mean I, I, I can say that we've brought a lot of like music festival morals and like lot morals uh, and street morals to this scene and uh, you know we've taken what we've learned learned from other places and uh, and applied it to pipes you know and, and uh, pipes are something that I love and uh, it, they've become a really, it's become a, a method of expression for me um, and I get a lot of fulfillment from seeing people use my glass and getting to use my glass with other people. Um, a pipe is a pipe is something that's really, uh, it's a really powerful thing and it's something that is used uh, and shared with so many people and it's just such an honor to have a label that people respect and and and, uh, and use on a daily basis and get to you know it's, it's a tool that people get to share with people they love on a daily basis and it's something they develop a relationship with it's a really it's a really beautiful thing that's really cool if someone were starting out and they asked you I'm thinking about being a glass blower what kind of advice would you give them Man, I mean, it's just like anything else, like I, Eric and I kind of dived into this knowing nothing about it at all. And, uh, and we developed a name or something that, uh, you know, that represented our crew earlier on, you know, and uh, I think it's really important that you develop develop uh, something to represent your team or your crew uh, early and not to be scared. Um, a lot of times you just got to do it and like jump in without knowing what the fuck you're doing and uh, and I mean it, when you go that route there's a lot of curveballs and, and life lessons and like I've learned more lessons in this industry than I've learned my entire life you know and it's been a really un a lot of unique dynamics have come up that uh, that have been difficult to overcome and um, but I would really just say just go for it I mean and you can and don't talk about it you know there's a lot of people who talk about shit in this life and like you just gotta follow through with it and, and not be scared and, and and there's gonna be barriers that pop up you have to overcome and um, and things that you weren't even in the cards or you didn't even think could happen that happen and you have to you deal with it and move forward and uh, and that's I mean it's something that it's been a real fucking journey for us, you know, and uh, just to get where we're at. And, and I'm sure there's a long road ahead, you know, and uh, yeah. That's really cool. And because we're really interested in helping artists get out there and become well known and have a successful life versus what's been going on in past years. Tell us how you got started. And I guess how we really started is we supported local pipe art and we support we supported local artists on the east coast you know and it was really hard for us to get uh gear uh and like at the time when uh it was moving from like a flower thing to more other kind of vibe uh it was hard to get transitions and like the right kind of gear on the east coast for this shit so like that's how it really started is we wanted gear for ourselves like it wasn't even about other people it was like we were just trying to make gear for our friends and shit 
So we just bought a bunch of your pipes from CoveredGlassPipes.com in the cupboard. Could you tell us about some of these? Absolutely, man. Well, uh, we recently released all this new Fresh Tech stuff, which is uh, a different type of color application than what people are usually used to seeing. Um, and we're developing that color application. Uh, and we're going to be dealing with a lot of different patterns and uh, really bringing an artistic development towards it. Uh, I'm really excited for the future of it. You know, this is just really pretty much like the intro level of it. And uh, I really like the effect it gives the glass and uh, it gives it a really unique vibe and, and energy that I, I think a lot of people will enjoy. That's a great effect and vibe. What social media do you guys use? Covered Glass Pipes would like to help you stay in contact with your fans. I use Instagram primarily to promote my product and like the new stuff we have going on um, my Instagram's hitman glass Dougie um, we have our glass on a bunch of sites but you can definitely uh, get my glass at the cupboard uh, glasspipes.com um, and yeah they just picked up a bunch of stuff I'm looking forward for them to have it out there you guys have it out there and yeah, I'm just psyched to have my shit uh, in more shops and in, in more outlets all throughout the whole country. Thanks, man. Great pleasure having you as part of the Cupboard's Artist Insights. Follow the whole series at CoveredGlassPipes.com.